Hi YouTube, welcome to my channel. Now today we are going to get set up for March and basically I've sped up the entire video and done a voiceover for it because the whole thing took me nearly three hours and at the end of it I was just so shattered so I'm actually recording the voiceover the next day so let's hope I just actually remember what I was doing. This is my cover page, um, that's supposed to be a peony. Um, <laughs> But yeah, and yes, I drew a line straight through it, but I was supposed to, and you'll see why in a little while. I got this idea off of somebody on YouTube, and I really can't remember who the hell it was. And I'm really cross with myself because I saw this like last year, and I was like, oh, that looks really good. But I just I can't remember who it was. So I've stolen the idea, and um, you know, if you see it and it's yours say so and I can then give you credit <laughs> but yeah it might have been it's me Andy but I'm I'm not 100% sure um, basically the idea is is that you draw a geometric shape through your artwork and then you only colour either inside or outside the box I decided to go for inside because that's where most of the art is um, I was actually really pleased with how how this turned out. It came out really, really nice. So that's the writing done. And I used Tombow number 772 to colour in the peony. I was a bit like, uh, because you could see the lines from the pen. So I did bring in my water brush pen to try and soften it a little, but it didn't really work. Um, so... I put that to one side and let it dry while I got on and did the monthly calendar. It's just my basic, basic calendar setup. Um, it's almost exactly the same as February's actually because it is just squares. <laughs> so I don't tend to do anything different. I like my calendar this way. This works really, really well for me. But I did decide that I've got an awful lot of blank space, so um, I'm going to draw a little bit more, a couple more peonies up in the corner. Peonies are very easy to draw, you just need a roughly circular shape <laughs> and, to go, and to just go on from there and go from the outside. So yeah, once they were done, I decided that I was going to draw another line through. I'm not going to make it a geometric shape because the calendar itself was in the way. But um, I had this idea to sort of do this, like, I don't know what style that is, whether you just, there is a border. And then I used the same uh, colour Tombow for the um, days, yeah, Monday through Sunday. And then I coloured in the inside of the peonies again. I did it a little bit more individually on these ones so that I didn't have these straight lines. And it does look much better close up. So it won't bug me quite so much. <laughs> uh, yeah, really pleased with how that turned out. So on to the next page which is my standard tracker. Um, I do this every month and I, th I think I finally got it pinned down. <laughs> um, the idea is, is I do it so that I've got nine columns going up three sides of it. And then if I need any remaining days, because that obviously makes it 27, so days 28, 29, 30 and 31 if needed, go along that top bit I'm doing just there. And I worked it out that around the outside square, the big part, I need to do four cells separate, which makes it spaced out quite evenly. Um, and it came out really, really well. I did mess up the first side a bit because this was basically an experiment on the go. Um, and I made the middle one a bit too wide at the bottom, but you know, that's fine. So yeah, I do nine, um, nine columns four dots apart at the widest point at the narrowest point i admit i eyeball it 
because I just, yeah, I just couldn't, I couldn't work it out. I don't, maths and me just don't, you know, we're not a thing. <laughs> so that's half of it done, look. Um, I find it easiest to draw the inside box and then the two diagonal lines because the diagonal lines do actually follow a row of dots to the um, outside point. Trouble is, once you start drawing your lines in, you cover up your dots, which makes it a bit harder to... And then I guesstimated where the middle line would be on the inside squares. And then I would go from the middle lines, halfway between the middle lines and the corner lines. And then do the rest of the lines, if that makes sense. If it doesn't, let me know and I will draw next month's tracker in slow-mo and explain what I'm doing as I go. And hopefully that will make a little bit more sense. The only thing I don't like is that day 14 is separated by the page middle. But that'll be better once I'm back in a book. Now I'm onto my card a day posts, which, you know, I haven't been doing this month due to the fact that I've been so ill. Um, I don't like to touch my cards when I'm ill because I just think it transfers. So, you know, I haven't I haven't really touched them yet this month, but I will get back to that soon. I tend to leave myself notes while I'm um, sketching out. This is a very, very basic. It, I just take two lines um, per day. I write the day in the big squares and then I colour code the big squares dependent on what deck I use because I have several decks. That's pretty much it for that one. Now I'm doing my about me section. This is the section that I love it and I hate it because I have to write down my weight, my BMI and all that lot. And I don't, you know, I hate it, but it's holding me accountable into, you know, trying to do something about the fact that I am a plus size gal. I did lose a load of weight when I was ill with the flu, but um, I've put it all back on again now. <laughs> and then some this is my mood and pain tracker this is the same as february because I, I like how it works um i would like to sort of have this massive all-in-one tracker but i just haven't yet figured out how to do it because <clears throat> i'd like to combine com combine combine the mood and the pain tracker into like one big tracker um i suppose i could just i don't know just do different colours I suppose really but I don't know we'll see it doesn't hurt having it like this there you go that's that that's nice and simple that one I do love a nice simple tracker now we're going on to the sleep and the steps this is the sleep one again it's just very very basic the numbers go down in that little column there to the left is my graph on how well I slept so if I had a really good sleep, it would go right up to the edge of the page, um, which I, I never do. So, yeah. And then on the right side of it is my time frame so that I can put on there, you know, yeah, I had a good sleep. No, I didn't. It, it was crap. Now I'm doing the steps portion. And again, this is very, very easy. It's just the days down the side and the numbers across the top are in thousands, you know, like the revs of a car sort of thing. Um, it starts at 1,000 and it goes up to 25,000 and then I just do a bar graph each day to show how many steps I've done. This <clears throat> is my good old cleaning spread and this is when I suddenly realised, hey, you haven't done any washi. So I went back and I pulled out some washies and um, yeah, got on with making it pretty full because, you know, who doesn't love pretty full? <clears throat> I 
I've got no idea where I got half of these washies from. Some of them I got from Jolyn. Hey Jolyn. Um, some of them I got from, um, you know, different people on the internet. AliExpress, D-stashes, that kind of thing. This is a pretty one. I can't remember where I got this one though. I think I got it on AliExpress. I love the colours in it. And now I'm just using a Tombow Food and Usuki pen to write in card of the day up the top. I have a lot of flowery washi. <laughs> I'm not a flowery person, but I have a lot of flowery washi. Funny, isn't it? Now I just title in my about me bit. That bit did not want to go down, bloody thing. <laughs> Little steps. I just I just really like that. I just thought it looked really good. And then my little sleepy face. <clears throat> this tracker takes ages and ages to set up. I like it and I love it but I just I wish it didn't take so long. So I start off by dividing each page into four equal sections. The top left is the monthly, the top right is Monday, bottom left is Tuesday, bottom right is Wednesday. I'm now going to do a quick jump so that you can see it when it's completed because basically all I'm doing is just drawing in the graphs. Okay, and then I will write in what each um, task is and the days of the month and all that lot. I show it more clearly on my cleaning tracker video. And here I am now just filling in the last couple of days. I do explain on my tracker video how this actually works and, and what I've got written down and all that lot. So yeah, just scribbling it all in. There you go, done. God, that took so long. The next page is a new spread for me. It's set out in the same way as my main tracker, the big square one. I was gonna do a circle, but I don't have a protractor, so I couldn't split it up into degrees and my big moxie dory stencil and he has nine little things and my brain just wouldn't cooperate with it so i decided you know what <laughs> i'm just fuck it i'm gonna draw a square i can deal with squares do you know what i mean and here you can see me actually dividing up a little bit better than the main tracker one just makes it look a little bit neater I'm just counting the outside squares there, roughly work out where the middle is. Do your middle between those two and then off you go. Now I'm going to draw in all the lines and all of that lot and then you'll see what I'm going to do this with this. I don't actually draw all of the lines in though as you can see. I'm quite excited about using this one. The very outside ring is going to be for the date. The next ring in is going to be the moon phases for the month. 
the next ring in from that is going to be the weather then I have low temperature, high temperature, sunrise and sunset. So instead of being on my daily, it is all going to be in this tracker. I don't know whether I've given myself enough room to draw the little weather icons and the moon and all that rubbish. Um, but you know, hey, it's, it's a learning curve, isn't it? If this doesn't work, I've got an idea for next month about what I can try then. <clears throat> I'd ever done my lines a wee bit, so I had to use a a uh, uniball signal or whatever they're called to and I found the trick with those is you have to let the black ink dry before you use the white I found some new washi that I hadn't had a chance to use yet and it was exactly the right width to go down either side but I had a hell of a time peeling the sodding stuff it just did not want to know it's not overly flowery it's there's more writing on it than anything else and it says total eclipse of the heart and everything starts with a dream and all that kind of thing but it's pretty and I liked it so you know I wanted to see what it looked like as well <coughs> excuse me now I'm just writing in the days all the way around and that is pretty much it now I'm just going to show you each thing Oh, I realised then that I hadn't actually written in the days on the calendar. So, there you go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please feel free to leave me a thumbs up. If you'd like to hit the book, you'll subscribe. And if you then hit the bell, you'll be notified when I upload new content. Please leave me a comment. I love to interact with people that watch my channel. Thank you so much. Bye.